Okay, I have to say, today I woke up with extremely low energy. I got a full night's rest, but I don't know, it's just one of those days where in competition prep, it's just hitting my body and I'm starting to really feel it. And today is just like grueling everything that I have to do. My motivation is like not where it should be. Every time, every minute, I just have to tell myself for the next minute, okay, just do this. Just make breakfast. That's all you gotta do. worry about right now. Just go do cardio. I did cardio earlier. I didn't work out. I don't think I'm gonna have time today. Um, but it's like everything is just really dragging today. And that's just a product of my diet and my cardio and getting ready for competition. So there's really no way around it. And all I can do is like drink coffee and stuff like that. So yeah, I did cardio this morning. I really need to do laundry because I've literally run through all of the clothes that I have. I just haven't had time. I've been getting up early and going about my day and then at night I've been editing these daily vlogs and anything else I need to edit until about 1 a.m. and then I'm going to bed, setting my alarm for about 7.30 or so. And repeat. So, come to think of it, that's probably not enough sleep. I on average need like seven and a half and I've been getting, been getting about six, six and a half. So that probably also explains why I'm feeling extra lethargic and tired today. So after this, I'm gonna try to get some laundry done. Hopefully get my vlog, <clears throat> my next vlog for the 25th at least part way edited and then I'll finish it tonight after work. But then at 2.30 I'm going, I'm meeting up with AHF, like we talked about in our uh, meeting yesterday. And we're gonna go film it out of the closet for their um, Halloween thing contest. And then after that, then I'll go to work at another event at that restaurant that's been shut down. But we're doing an event and I'll do that mostly evening. So, you know, it'll just, it'll just give me a little extra cash in my pocket, so. Hi. So I got an email from Avery about 30 minutes ago saying that she is swamped with projects and stuff going on at AHF. So we're gonna have to postpone until next week, which is fine by me because as I was saying, I'm really, really, really tired today, really worn out. And on top of that, I was kind of stressing because, you know, I'm trying to catch up with these daily vlogs. I don't wanna fall two days behind, three days behind and so on and so forth. So I'm trying to get as much stuff as done as I can. And that frees up my afternoon before work to play catch up as much as possible. So yeah. All right. I just got one little laundry done. Even if I don't get it all done, just, I think if I just get a little bit done in between projects and in between work and vlogging and all of that and going to the gym, just do a little bit here and there, I'll, I'll eventually catch up. So I just gotta remind myself to make time to do it here and there. I feel bad for Doki. I need to take him out. I haven't taken him out hiking or on a long walk in, in a while. I've been so caught up in my own stuff that I just I just didn't make time and forgot and was kind of too busy. It's crazy that I'm, here I am, unemployed, and yet, I mean, I'm working a little bit, but man, I managed to fill up my time real quick. <laughs> Especially with these daily vlogs. It's like, you don't realize how time consuming it is. In reality, I'm not filming that much of my day. It's just a little bit here and there. But it's like, for example, if I have an hour and a half or two of footage at the end of the day when I need to edit, I have to watch an hour and a half, two hours of footage. That's already an hour and a half, two hours right there. And then to go back and edit it, you're gonna throw on another couple hours. And if you wanna go back again and again and perfect it and add music, well, you have to go through that footage over and over again to get it right. So really I have to start being smarter about what I decide to record and how much because that'll just save me at the end of the day. If I have to do it every single day, yeah. Learning curve. The video I put out yesterday, 
Obviously, if you heard it or if you watched it, there's no music in it because I just didn't have time. I didn't do any effects, nothing. It was just literally the clips that I had. I cut out any boring like stuff that was just dead space as much as I could, and then I just strung it together and posted it because that's all, all I had time for. Now I need to, so I got the editing done for September 25th, which is two days ago as of me working on this right now. Although when you're watching it, it might be three days ago. Who knows? Weird time warp. I don't know what's going on. We're getting real meta. And now it's time to find a little music just to spice it up a little bit and not so boring. So that's the goal right now. It's 3 p.m. I have uh, an event at the restaurant to go to. That starts at 5.30. So I have two and a half hours to finish this. Hopefully upload it to YouTube. Maybe I'll take my MacBook with me and I can work on that while I'm prepping the bar. And I have to cook food. I have to cook my beef for the night. I gotta shower, change, and get there and have that all ready by 5.30. <laughs> okay, let's go, focus. So this song's actually really different from what I've been using. So I think I'm just gonna go with it. Oh, I love it when that happens. I just pick a song and then it's the one. Sometimes I'll go through like 30 plus songs and I'm like searching and it takes a while and I'm like, I don't really know, overthought. But this is so different from what I normally do. So, and yet it's similar in ways. So I'm gonna go with this bad boy. It's a good, I feel like it's a good tempo too. All right, cool. So I download one track with the vocals on it, and then I download another version of that with no vocals, so I have them both. So in the video, I'll have them lined up, and then when I'm talking and I just want the music, then I'll use that part of the track without the vocals. And then when it's just like, you know, me doing stuff and there's no talking, then I'll put the lyrics back in sometimes if it's not too distracting or whatever. So. That's what I'm doing now. So this is with the vocals. And then this is without, starting at the same place, or continuing from where I just left off. Back to vocals. Yeah, I think that I think that'll work really nicely. So okay, guys. So I'm trying to set up this shot that I had as an idea of of um, watching me as I'm do editing. I wanted to do a little clip of me just sitting here, like editing, adding the music tracks to this video. Um, but I'm like, how do I do that if I can't see what's going on? So. I took out my phone and I'm like looking at the camera to see where it's focused on when I have my back to it like this. I'm like, okay, is it in the shot? Can I see what's going on? <laughs> Just gotta get creative, you know?